Hello everyone and welcome back to Organic Living in Kitchen. I want to say happy early fall to everyone. Our fall fruit has arrived and today I'll be showing you how I make and can pear jam. Some people call it pear puree or pear sauce. I like to call it pear jam because I'll be preserving it and I'll be eating it all winter long. Our pear jam is going to be nice and smooth. It's going to have an amazing color and texture. It's not going to be runny, so it's very perfect on your toast. I also want to say thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed to my videos. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and most importantly, share this video with your family, friends, coworkers. And do try these recipes, they're amazing. Leave a comment and I love reading your comments. For this recipe, I'll be using pears that have fallen on the ground. They need to be nice and yellow and juicy. I'll be needing approximately five pounds of fresh picked pears. Here my pears are placed into a pot. They've been washed, rinsed, and diced into small pieces. I'm also gonna put three quarters cup of organic sugar. I'm going to cover my pears with a lid, place it on low heat, and let it simmer on low heat till the juice starts to form on the bottom of the pot. I'm going to be mixing my pears every three to five minutes so they don't burn. As you can see, after cooking for approximately 15 minutes, my pears have released a lot of juice. Using a hand blender, I will go ahead and blend till my pears and my juice is well combined or till my pears are nice and smooth. I'm gonna to continue to cook my pear jam for the next 30 to 45 minutes. I will cook it on low heat, mixing every two to three minutes so my jam does not stick to the bottom and burn. Also cook your jam without a lid. We want the jam to thicken up, so we need the extra liquid to evaporate. While my jam is cooking, I have washed and rinsed my jars and placed them in the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. Also, I'm boiling my lids for 20 to 25 minutes in hot water. About 45 minutes have passed. Here my jam is already nice and thick. I will go ahead and start placing my jam into hot jars. I will place hot lids on top of my canned jars and tighten them up. Now for my water bath, I will boil a pot of hot water. I will place a clean washcloth so my jars are not touching the bottom of the pot and I will gently submerge one jar at a time into my hot boiling water. I'm going to boil my jars for 20 to 25 minutes with lid on. 25 minutes have passed. Go ahead and remove the lid and remove your jars from hot boiling water. Your jam is well preserved and ready for winter. You're also welcome to use less sugar if you want your jam less sweet. And if you want your jam a little bit on the runnier side, just cook it for 25 to 30 minutes. And this way you can enjoy your jam with pancakes and waffles. I want to say thank you for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed them. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And click that notification button. Also, don't forget to check out my previously made videos on how to make sourdough bread, delicious moist zucchini bread, and homemade tomato sauce. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time and God bless you.